Hello, friends! I am so happy that you've all come to visit me here today at This Side Up, where we will be unboxing the most high-end toys and show you the most interesting things. Today, we're going to start with a new series of buildable figures by LEGO. This time, we're going to be looking at heroes from Star Wars The Force Awakens, Episode 7. In the last video, we were unboxing and examining K2SO, who rounded out our Rogue One series. If you want to watch that, links to the video are in the description below. And now, a new toy, a new story, and some more interesting facts from a galaxy far, far away a long time ago. Let's do it. Minor spoilers ahead, nothing big for anybody who's seen the film. Friends, don't forget that we will be happy to hear from you about what toys you want to see us unbox next. You can write your suggestions in the comments below, and we will do our absolute best to unbox your toy here on This Side Up as soon as we can. LEGO branched out into the video game world in 1997, beginning with LEGO Island and LEGO Creator. Other popular titles include the 1999 game LEGO Racers and the 2001 follow-up LEGO Racers 2. However, more recently, they've gotten lots of amazing licensed games including LEGO Star Wars, LEGO Indiana Jones, LEGO Batman, and many more games including the very well received LEGO Marvel Super Heroes game featuring New York City as the beautiful overworld and including many Marvel characters from the Avengers, the Fantastic Four, X-Men, and all the popular Marvel titles. More recently, LEGO has created a game based on the LEGO movie due to its overwhelming popularity. Well, hey, this is Ray, a stubborn, headstrong, but very brave 19 year old woman. In the box, you can see her Jakku outfit, the planet she's from, which is created from plastic pieces and is really great quality. Even the felt added for movie accuracy and detail. She also comes with her multi purpose staff. She uses her staff for a lot of things in the movie. Also included is Ray's Chrome Blaster, given to her by none other than Han Solo, which just adds the accuracy of the figure. It would have been nice if Ray would have come with her lightsaber, you know, the blue one that was Luke's, but Lego has given her that. <laughs> Lego has given that to Finn instead. You can see his figure below. Practically all the main characters are here. Pretty cool. So the moment has arrived. I am, the, I am one with the Force, and the Force is one with this box. So, let's open it up. The box is very easy to open, and I see that all the stuff is pretty well packed. So, let's put the box away and see what's inside all the packets. The biggest one are the body parts and a headpiece. Then here's a piece of cloth for Ray's outfit. And last is the packet with different fittings. I always really like that LEGO puts some extra parts in because eh, sometimes we lose them. And here are the instructions, where you can find all the processes of building in detail. Traditionally, there's a pretty cool picture at the end, and this is no exception. Here we can see all the figures from this series, and ooh, Kylo Ren is pretty fierce too. I want to open up all the packets to look closer at Ray's headpiece. The headpiece is the most interesting part of the figure, and probably the most important. I think all of our heads are. I've opened up all the packets and the bricks go... Uh, with a piece of cloth. I like the color. It's pretty much like the color of sand. Camouflage. Where's the head? Oh, there it is. Well, Ray's headpiece was her wearing her scavenger mask. And I think that captures Ray pretty well, at least from the first half of the movie. Waiting to see the whole figure? Yeah, friends, me too. But first, let me tell you her story. Ray was a human scavenger and force prodigy who discovered her latent force sensitivity while on a journey to find the legendary Jedi Master, Luke Skywalker, and bring a new hope to the galaxy on a brink of war. Ray grew up alone in the waste of the desert planet called Jakku hoping for the day that her family would return for her while honing her skills as a scavenger and a warrior. However, her life was chained forever when she encountered BB-8, a resistance astromech droid who carried information about Luke Skywalker's hidden whereabouts, and escorted by a stormtrooper named Finn who defected from the First Order. 
They were hunted by the First Order, escaped from Jakku aboard the Millennium Falcon, and found help from an unlikely companion in Han Solo and Chewbacca. So their journey continued on the Resistance base of Dakar. So now let's build this toy and see if it really reveals Rey's true character or not. The instructions are always able to tell us from the body uh, that that's the best place to start. So that's where we'll begin. I want to demonstrate the work of the machinist. It's a wheel activated arm swinging battle function. Whew, that's a mouthful and it's awesome. We'll test it out later. So now I've put together the legs and we see the figure is really poseable and has awesome balance. Very Jedi-like. And now it's time to put on the cloth. Fix it with fittings. It looks pretty awesome. Now let's continue with the build. So we need to put the hands on and the head. Come on! Okay. Hmm. The hands are ready and we test the mechanism. It works pretty well, but I thought it would move both hands when it only moves the one which is a pretty cool feature and pretty well thought out. However, the wheel in the back, uh, it, it protrudes quite a bit from, from there and it really takes away from the overall look from behind. Here are some other additions that we have left. It's Ray's multi-purpose staff and the Chrome Blaster. Let's build them. Hey, everything is ready, and we put on the head. Now that's cool. Now Ray is armed and really dangerous. Hey, hey guys, huh? You want some of this, huh? You? Maybe you? You talking to me? I will conquer all of you. Yeah, man. I'm pretty cool. Whoa, 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 Ray, 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 calm down, calm down. You are really cool. I agree, I agree. Please, just don't point that at me, okay? Don't shoot at me. Whew. Crisis averted. And now, I have a question for all the Star Wars Lego fans out there. My question is, what's the name of the world where Luke Skywalker went for exile? I'll wait for your answers in the comments below. At last, it's time to rate this toy. 
first is safety. Four points. Most Legos will get this score because of their small pieces. Second, quality. Ray's posability is awesome, and that means this figure is really great for role-playing or can be displayed in a multitude of poses. Next, originality. Now, yeah, it's original that the wheel comes out of the back, but it's not very aesthetically pleasing. Next, packaging. Five points. I find the box packaging to be pretty cool with all the blue detailing. The last is price. The price is not great at 17 and a half cents per piece, unlike the typical 10 cents per piece. The pieces may be larger, but I would find no more than 15 cents per piece reasonable. So there you have it, dear friends. I hope that you like this buildable Lego Star Wars Ray figure as much as I did. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. I'll be waiting for your questions, and remember to think about the toy you want us to unbox next. See you soon, here, at This Side Up. Bye-bye. Hello, friends! I am so happy that you all come to visit me here today at This Side Up, where we will be unboxing the most high-end toys and show you the most interesting things. Today, we're back with the Star Wars universe. So let's all greet Kylo Ren and his buildable figure. By Lego, of course. Now, I've already opened up and built Finn, and if you want to see me unboxing him, you can find the links in the description below. But today, I'll be stepping into the dark side. Let's do it. Friends, we will be happy to hear from you about what toy you want us to unbox next. You can write your suggestion in the comments below, and we will do your, our best to unbox your toy here on this side up as soon as we can. Now we've discussed a lot of things about Legos, but there are some pretty amazing facts that I'm sure that you didn't know about this company. For example, did you know that there is a giant Lego tower in this world today? When I was little, I mean even I used to make Lego towers, my little children's creations pale in comparison to this real-life Lego tower. It's made of out of 500,000 individual Lego bricks and stands 112 feet tall and 11 stories high. Woo, that's awesome. One more cool fact is that there is a whole house made out of Legos. In 2009, Top Gear co-host James May constructed this home using 3.3 million bricks. People do some pretty amazing things with Lego. And it's so awesome to see how everybody is inspired by the famous toy. Now that's all great, but let's return to our buildable figure. Here's the box. And at first, I want to check out the background. It's pretty neat. These flames in Kylo Ren's pose show how cool even a bad guy can be. That's the real Dark Lord there. On the other side, we see some features of this figure. We see a wheel activated arm swinging battle function and Ren's lightsaber. Awesome! So, as I open the box, hmm, what do we have here? We have a packet with some body parts and fittings, a piece of fabric, and of course the instructions. So, first, I'll start with those the instructions. And it's just like the other ones detailed, colored, with a picture of all the heroes at the end. Well, the fittings are almost all black and blue as well. There's a big piece of fabric here because I think Kylo Ren has a cape and a robe. Body parts are pretty detailed as well. So let's go ahead and open up all these packets and build this Kylo Ren figure. Ah, here is his headpiece. I always find that first. The details on Ren's mask are brilliant. The marks and the dents make it very realistic. The helmet is more in proportion to the body than the minifigure is, which is pretty great. So it's time to build the most human villain in the Star Wars universe. A dark side warrior with a mysterious past. Kylo Ren was neither Jedi nor Sith, but a product of both sides' teachings combined. Once an apprentice of the famous Luke Skywalker, he murdered his fellow students and drove Skywalker into exile becoming a First Order Warlord and a servant of the Supreme Leader Snoke. 
Ren was determined to destroy the last remnants of the Jedi, fulfilling the legacy of Darth Vader. But I've called him a very human villain because he still suffers from borderline personality disorder, which is peculiar for most people. So let's go ahead and build this figure and see how Kylo looks in the Lego interpretation. Here's the mechanism. We've practically seen the same ones in our previous videos for a lot of the other heroes they made. So let's attach the legs to the body. The skeleton looks great. So let's put on the cloth. All right. Alright, the body is ready now too. The front looks, the front looks pretty good, but uh, it's, wow, it's actually very realistic. But this is uh, pretty strange. The thighs are gray and the back of it is uncovered. So I guess the fact that it's going to be covered with the cape is going to make up for the fact that it doesn't look great right now. It's time to put on the cape and finish the image with the lightsaber and the headpiece. All right, Kylo Ren is ready. This Kylo Ren buildable figure is awesome with some pretty amazing attention to detail and is pretty completely movie accurate. I think the proportions are good and nothing looks too large or small. Lead the First Order into battle with buildable and highly posable Kylo Ren. Oh yeah. And now I have a question for all the Star Wars lovers out there. My question is, how, who is the best villain from the Star Wars universe? I know it's your opinion, but I'm really excited to see what you guys say and read all your opinions in the comments below. At last, it's time to rate this toy. First is safety. Five points. It's pretty great that there aren't so many little pieces floating around. Second is quality. Also five points. I like the quality of this figure and the proportions of everything, so I mean, it looks pretty great in that. Originality? Also five. The model itself is a phenomenal representation of Kylo Ren's actual figure. Packaging? Just like all these, uh, all, all the packaging is very nice. Uh, it's got an awesome box design and safe packaging. Not too frustrating. Finally is price. Kylo Ren is 86 pieces and it's about $25 more expensive than the Rey figure who has 84 pieces. This may be due to the fact that the lightsaber piece and the torso are more expensive to manufacture, or that it was expected to be more popular. <laughs> Dear friends, I really hope you like this buildable LEGO Star Wars Kylo Ren figure as much as I do. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. I'll be waiting for your questions, and remember to think about the toy that you would like to unbox with me. See you soon, next time here at This Side Up.
拜拜。